the term which is in discussion not because it's a breaking news in ashtak but it's the issue which is started several years back with the advent of ozone layer in antarctica now today it has become an unavoidable issue because of its potential impact over the life on the planet in my speech i will be going through what we actually mean by global warming what were the causes and what were the preventive measures taken so far from historic point of view global warming is a sustained increase in the temperature of earth atmosphere average temperature of earth atmosphere and the ocean which has resulted into the climate change right since the start of 20th century earth has witnessed over 1 degree fahrenheit rise in the temperature of its atmosphere which has resulted into the climate change the speed of the warming is continuously increasing and causing a slight shift in the regular climate of the globe now let us try to understand what is what caused the global warming research has shown that the global warming is the result of the rapid urbanization that the world has undergone in last 50 years the rapid urbanization to support residence and the industrialization is causing the deforestation which is cutting down of tree which absorb the excess of co2 and the burning of the fossil fuels all these urbanization activities have led to the increase in the concentration of the greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide methane and the nitrous oxide the greenhouse gases have the tendency to absorb the outgoing heat radiated by the earth surface their increased concentration in the air above the normal permissible level would mean in trapping more and more of the heat radiated by the earth surface which would only contribute to the rise in the temperature of the earth atmosphere now let us try to understand the effect of the global warming so far the impact of the global warming is quite cascading in nature that is one unusual change is going to trigger several other unusual changes the very first one is the melting of polar ice in past few years the melting of mountain glaciers and the snow cover in both northern and southern hemisphere is continuously increasing if this trend continues this is going to pump huge quantity of water into the sea which would raise the level of sea which could cause the submerge of the coastal areas as well as it would also imbalance the concentration of the salt in sea which could be hazardous for the marine species of the marine ecosystem all this would only imbalance the food chain in the marine ecosystem ocean acidification ocean acidification ocean is turning acidic because of the excess of absorption of excess of the co2 present in our atmosphere the ocean turning acidic with the ocean turning acidic the life of the marine species would also get endangered also the temperature of the ocean is rising and it is also decreasing its ability to absorb the excess of the co2 present in the atmosphere thus further contributing to the rise of the temperature we have already seen the extreme weather events like floods droughts increase in the tropical cyclone activities and the huge number of hurricanes that hit the different part of the globe every year and claiming thousand of leaves every year the change in the nature cycles such as carbon carbon dioxide cycle and the water water cycles these cycles are very important for maintaining the balance of gases in the atmosphere as well as the level of the water in the planet just just imagine if the water cycle gets disturbed then it could lead to the loss of the water from the planet entirely thus leading to the desertification of the whole planet thus making it completely unfit for the life we have also seen the increase in the seismic activities like advent of earthquakes advent of tsunamis and the lot of volcanoes in the different part of the earth and upcoming of the new diseases which are not seen previously rise of temperature would allow certain new kind of bacteria and virus to persist in the air and which could cause fatal diseases with to the human beings and which are not seen so far as we can visualize that the global warming is the root for the major alterations that are brought in the ecosystem the alterations which could cause irreversible damage in our uh, in our ecosystem now let us try to see the preventive measures that was taken so far from historic point of view 
research paper by 1990 gave clear message to all the countries of the nation that it is the it was the high time to act towards the reduction of the greenhouse gases which had already started interfering into the regular climate of the globe to come up all the general consensus on the same the earth UNFCC treaty was opened for signatures in a first earth summit held at, held in Rio de Janeiro it was attended by around 800 108 countries inclusive of developing or the developed nation the treaty aimed towards the reduction of the greenhouse gases in the interest of the environment treaty set some mandatory protocols which would set the limits over the emission of the greenhouse gases by the participating nations the treaty the see, treaty is the, the one of the common protocol that the treaty set at that time was the kyoto protocol but we all know that the kyoto protocol did not meet its target of the reduction in the emission of the greenhouse gases all can be contributed to the lack of consensus among the developed nation in the interest in the narrow interest of their own economic growth result is we are slowly moving towards the major climate shift which could bring havoc on the earth and making the life unsustainable in its entirety on the planet it's high time now that the world leader should put aside their narrow interest and should act actively towards the reduction of the greenhouse gases only to save the life on this planet over to you trust master thank you jaydi well done uh, i quickly request you to give a feedback to jaydi speech we take around uh, one minute please pass on the feedback jaydi on the paper that's kept on your uh, you can make a small piece of it and then write the feedback yeah feedback on jaydi speech 